What is going on team? It is now half one in the afternoon and we've just met up with Sam. Basically what we're doing is just cooking up some pre-workout eggs. I've just gone for five eggs and I'm going to have it just on some toast. When he came in the house, the first thing that he picked up on was uh, this. <laughs> It's like our house is filled with um, equipment from like everywhere. So you'll come in here and there's like a barbell and we have push-up things and um, ab mats and ab balls. And we have a bench that we can put up to like, I think it's like 100 kg, but we got it from the tip for five pound. Open up my fridge. My fridge is really bland. <laughs> Um, this is like MTV Cribs, you know, I'm showing you like my weights, I'm showing you like, okay, we have like some ham, some couple of pack of quick chicken because I'm lazy, a couple of Guinness for dad, some cooked meat and some fridge, a half eaten salad, two boiled eggs, some more eggs, and uh, some Diet Pepsi and that is all is in my fridge, I don't even know why I opened it. And like they do on all MTV Cribs, I have to show you where the magic happens. That's the hair product I use, Mac Clay by VO5. And this, guys, is where the magic happens. I've been really trying. Giggity, giggity, giggity goo. Stick around. And by magic, I mean muscle building. <laughs> Not a lot of magic goes on in here. Um, the reason why is because when you sleep, your body enters a higher anabolic kind of zone and basically your body goes into repair mode. So you make the most gains when you're asleep and also it reduces your level of cortisol, which is a stress hormone. So if you don't get around seven to 10 hours a night, your body does have a bit more cortisol than usual, which inhibits, 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 can't say it, inhibits muscle growth and uh, can actually aid muscle breakdown. So sleep is very important. Souvenir number one is a Boyce Avenue ticket. I literally love Boyce Avenue. I can't wait to go and see them. Girl, the to want me. And number two, this is my souvenir thing number two that I wanted to show you. This, this blue bit here, means a lot to me. That was, yeah, that was 2014. That was after I came off the stage. That was after I competed in Fit Factor 2014. I remember like, um, I was like ran up to Christian and stopped him and he was like, didn't, didn't know what I'd hit him. And I was like, dude, can you just sign my shirt? And I was like being a total fanboy. And it was awesome because uh, he did sign my shirt. And I forgot to take it again this year. I wanted him to sign it again this year. But um, yeah, that is like my one memorabilia. I didn't even wash it, I haven't washed it. So it hasn't been washed for like two years. How did you feel signing the wall? Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> it's cool, cool to be part of the team, isn't it? So. Everybody's part of the team. Yeah, yeah. All of you guys are in there. Well, part of the team. Uh, okay, so let's just get on with it, right? I've just showed you my house and my memorabilia and all my like cool stuff. But um, now Sam's down, we're gonna hit a back and we're gonna hit an arm session. So I'm just banging in my BCAAs as I do. And I love it when subscribers come down, you know why? Because they always bring their A game, you know? Like they always put in 100% of their effort, which then makes me put in 100% of my effort. And effort is between you and you. You know, nobody else can give you effort. Like, effort, you, you might not ever be the most shredded. Like, I, <laughs> like no, I don't, I don't think anybody's gonna be the most shredded. You're never gonna be the biggest, you're just gonna be the best version of you and that comes from effort. Because 100% one day might look different to 100% another day. You know, and that is what's gonna separate you. Just going in there and getting right up in the face of the weights. What the f are you doing? <laughs> and just kicking ass, you know? So. We're gonna go kick ass, we're gonna give it maximum effort. In three, two, one. Hey, I'm playing for keeps, not a minute of waste. Number one in this piece, calling out all of you fakes. You get a smack in the face if you think we're in the same place. Think you're cooking perfection, well, let me serve you a plate. The kid is cooking and cooking, nobody looking, I'm killing it. The barrels to the top, and best believe that I'm spilling it. Every minute I'm flipping, and everything that I'm limited, all these women be If you wanna get a good squeeze on the lats, the best way to do it is not lean back. I see a lot of people in the gym, when they do this, they tend to like lean back. You're not gonna get the best anatomical squeeze that you can on the lats. The best way to do this is, if you come around the side, is instead to like extend your spine. So you push your abs up and you push your chest up. Say I'm too young to be stunned. Guess I'm ahead of my time. Best to believe it. Now y'all could have seen it. See with more. Come closer. Come closer. We gotta get this on it. Um. 
what we're going to do, because um, I do it a lot, I start on a light set, so it's just getting the squeeze and getting the feel for the movement, especially if you don't have a good mind-muscle connection, this is good, because if you go light, focus on using the muscle to move the weight, and not moving weight, so you're getting a good squeeze and making it work, and then once you start getting the good mind-muscle connection, then you start upping the weight. Period. Say what's on your mind, speak what's in your heart and how you really feel. When you're trying to be something else, when you're trying to fit into what's going on, it's like you kind of stray away from your path a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. What? All right, Ronnie. I'm a good young man. Represent, you know, peace, love, and positivity. That's my message. I've... I flip and love Justin Bieber. I never used to be a believer, but recently he's been bringing banger after banger after banger, and he's turned me. I'm now a believer. Right, right. But it's, it's, it's okay, so yeah, I, I Yeah. Never wanna fit in, I live in the words I've written, reminiscent of the times. Classrooms I was sitting, never felt like I belonged, never showed it, played it strong. The ones who gave me grief want me to drop another song, well, here you go. My past, like an ex, won't let me go. I've dealt with all the. We're coming out of the gym, and it's like dark. And it's half four. Half past four. <laughs> I need to go to uh, Sainsbury's as you know what it's like if you've got anyone out there who's got an iPhone you know what it's like when um, all the cables start to break I've gone through like 15 cables for my iPhone so I uh, need to go to Sainsbury's again at the cable then we're gonna go get some food I think oh, bloody hopes. <laughs> man it's like five degrees and with the wind chill it must be like two you have a pump and then you walk outside and you lose your pump. I swear you unlocked my door. His car is the same as his nan's. <laughs> What's going on team? It's now 6.15 in uh, the afternoon. Evening. <laughs> it's not the afternoon. Um, we had just come to a place. You've seen it in one of the previous vlogs. We, we came back to meet you because last time I had that massive tower in Inferno Burger. Wasn't that hungry today? Uh, so I went for like a, a smaller burger. So it has like caramelized onion, lettuce, bacon, and then hot sauce. But I, I mean, I've said it before, on this channel I kind of, um, I only show you the bad stuff. And uh, it's just because the rest of the time, if you ever watch any of the full day of eatings, I'm usually eating the same thing, you know, so if you eat clean 90% of the time, eat kind of the same thing and know where your macros are or know where your calories are roughly. Like I never track macros or I never track calories, but if you know where you are roughly each day what you're eating, then you can allow yourself to have like treats like this every so often because like you're, you're human, you know, you're not like this shredded athlete that needs to walk around at 0% body fat, you're human, you've got to go out and have a bit of fun and appreciate your food. Like this, look at him, scoffing on it. <laughs> Working on it. That's the new Gymshark hoodie as well, isn't it? It's got a new Gymshark hoodie on. Kino. <laughs> What's going on, team? It's the morning after the night before. Sam was awesome when he came down. Like, I really appreciate him. He got on. He got in touch with me on uh, Snapchat, and he was like, he expected me not to reply and be like, oh god. No. Nah, so he he was like, ah, oh, can I come down? And I was like, hell yeah, come on. So uh, just finished eating a stir fry. Uh, as I do like all the time. I had my oats this morning, have them literally every morning. But now, because I've got a really sweet tooth, like I'm just like craving sugar, I don't really know. So I'm not gonna have real sugar. <laughs> I'm gonna have uh, some Hartley's 10 calorie uh, jelly. And that's what I'm gonna do. So uh, I did, as you, as you saw in this video, I needed three back exercises. And that's because that's all I felt like I needed at the time. It's not about the, the quantity of exercises that you do and the quantity of sets and reps, it's the quality that you do them at. And uh, as you saw, I did say we were gonna do back and arms, but I, I've been getting requests recently on doing an arm video. So I've saved the arm footage for the next um, video and it has two of my favorite supersets to just blow up your arms. So uh, stay tuned for the next video. And uh, as always guys, if you do enjoy the content and you do enjoy this channel, then uh, do give it a thumbs up as it always does help. Like you don't realize how much it does help. But uh, anyway guys, I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna go to work. I'm gonna have a long evening at work, but I'm gonna enjoy it because you changed lives. And uh, we will catch you guys in the next one. <laughs>